So um, let's just shift a little bit to our uh, Democratic vice presidential nominee because, uh, yeah, so, so that's just, uh, she's just been nominated for vice president um, for the Democratic Party. And, you know, her name has come up in the past when she was actually, I believe, running for the Democratic nomination. There was a big outcry against Kamala Harris um, regarding her stance on sex work. And um, so can you tell us a little bit about maybe why people in my industry aren't her biggest fans? Yeah, I mean, one of the biggest reasons, one of the things she did in recent years was she um, had the people, the founders of Backpage arrested and charged them with child pimping twice on completely unfounded charges that were dropped both times. But Does this um, go back to the FOSTA-SESTA situation or was this before? This was in 2016 and this was when okay. she was running for the Senate. So okay. she was Attorney General of California. Uh, about a few weeks before the election, the 2016 election, where she's up for uh, Senate seat, she arrests the uh, yeah the founders and the CEO of Backpage and says, "I'm busting them for child sex trafficking." And you know, at this point, there'd been all these congressional hearings about Backpage. They sort of become the main scapegoat in this idea that they were that they were the selling children for sex. So she was the one who got all these headlines saying that she took them down. And then it turns out her case was just you know, nonsense. And a judge threw it out. And then she had two weeks left in office as attorney general of California. And she refiled slightly different charges that were like, would make sure she got them again. And a judge eventually threw out like anything related to the child, alleged child pimping, because again, it was just like a few people who had posted ads on Backpage and maybe wound up like in various bad situations, but like there was nothing to, to indicate that anything had been involved um, so that sort of really was, I think, the start of, you know, people realizing that she was, you know, no friend to sex workers, um, or at least people across the country or you know, maybe realizing that. But even as, as, a, as um, a district attorney in San Francisco, you know, she likes to say now that she was a progressive prosecutor. But if you look at her record, I mean, that, that wasn't the case at all. She actually ramped up, like, quality of life crime arrests, so arrests for, like, small drug possession, you know, small drug crimes for prostitution and solicitation for um, truancy and loitering and things like that. Um, she wasn't really, you know, she she likes to say that she supported sex workers because she did a lot where she was um, saying, well, we're going to arrest the men and pay for sex, not the women. But again, like that's, you know, that's not helpful. Like if your clients are criminalized, you're still effectively criminalized. And that's sort of the position she's now taking. Um, and that's, that's, the, yeah. that's the Nordic model, right? Yeah. So, and that's, and the, so the Nordic model is when you arrest the customers of um, prostitution rather than the prostitutes themselves. Yeah. And it's been gaining a ton of traction in the U.S. There's like a big group of camp campaigners and they like to call it the equality model now, whatever. Um, but yeah. And so she now says, she'll say, I'm for decriminalization of prostitution. And then when pressed, she'll be like, well, no, she's not for decriminalization. They're trying to sort of reframe this as if, you know, well, we won't arrest the sex workers. We won't arrest people who are the prostitutes. You know, we won't arrest them, but we'll arrest people who pay them, which, you know, again, it just ends up the same thing. You know, they can't, they can't work safely. They can't, you know, work together in brothels. They can't advertise legally because it's still actually legal. And so it, it just doesn't help. And, you know, like, as we've seen again, like if, if the customers are still, you know, doing a, a crime, cops will still do stings and sex workers will still get caught up in them themselves. So it's just sort of like a bullshit having it both ways position that, that Harris now tries to do. And it's just very typical of sort of how she is on these. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.